everybody. So we're out for a hunt today. It's Kev here from the Radic Rescue Crew. I have got Jim with me. Hey, Jim. Yo. Just uh, getting his gear ready right now. So we're out in a beautiful spot this morning. Um, Jim had some success here last year, as he'll uh, tell you a little bit later, I'm sure. Um, believe it or not, we had two inches of snow yesterday. It's been the worst weather uh, I've ever remembered this winter. Apparently, it's the um, the worst winter this part of the country has had since 1880. So that's why we're late starting off this season. But here's Jimbo. What's up, Jim? Good morning, everybody. Uh, we're back at it, Relic Rescue Crew, for another season. We hope is a good one, right, Kev? Oh, absolutely. We're uh, we're excited to go. We're on a really historic piece of property here. Uh, we got permission from this last fall. It goes from 1860s all the way to late 1700s. And then we pulled some nice U.S. out of here, silvers, musket balls, oh God, who knows, uh, some sieve. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Jim's got a really nice find, yeah. but we'll show it a little bit later. We, we uh, already showed a photograph of it on our Facebook group, but uh, yeah, we'll, sh we'll show him that one in a little while. Like, hey, glad Jim? to be back and uh, hope you guys enjoy our vids. Oh, and I really appreciate all the posts on Facebook with you guys. That's really great. Yeah, that's all cool. You guys put super videos up. They're really cool to watch. Eh? Yeah, we'll put some shout outs out in a little while, all right? So, but we're hungry to get out there digging. So, uh, we'll let you know if we find anything. Just uh, brought over a little clump he's found over there. All right, Jim, open her up, see what yeah, we got. We're finding more of these tokens. Uh, they're really cool. We'll take anything we can find. Is that it there? Yeah, there we are. So, uh, you found some of these tokens last time out, didn't yeah, you? Oh yeah, a ton of these. And what were they? They're from a canning factory, I think in the 1880s. But as you know, there's no canning factory here, so. Uh, there's two types. There's round and octagons. And they're cool. They're from Sarnia, Ontario. Yeah, hold that one up, Jim, the uh, oct octagon one. Good. That's when you just pulled out the clump. There's cannery, canneries on them, Sarnia. Anybody has any idea, we'd really appreciate your help on this. Yeah, you know what, I had a look at There's the on one. the internet last night, Jim, and I yeah. couldn't see anything about it when you no, told me you were really putting cool. these up. Like, it says good for one at the company store. That's really awesome. So we're guessing what, 1890s maybe? Yeah, oh cool. But this part of the field Where your machine is, yep. And the back part is, is really historic, so. You awesome. just don't know what's coming out of this ground here, I'm telling you, it's so sweet. And it's like about 200 acres, and it's all ours. <laughs> I'm going to make a pair of earrings on with it. You know what, they're very pretty. I, I think they'd be awesome, don't Yeah, you? they would look nice. Thanks. Yeah, all right, man. Lovely little signal just now. You can see it. Little musket ball. It came up. About 68 on the AT Pro. Uh, it's funny, actually, Jim said uh, in the area where we are now, he found a lot of dropped musket balls. So, uh, there's another one. It's my first proper relic of the day, so I'm very happy. Excellent. Let's keep on going and see what we get. Just got a coin. It's probably a uh, US. It's right here in the clump. It's still covered in mud. Going to have to check it later, or maybe not. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's got a nice patina. There we go, it's starting to come up. You see it yet? Yeah, it's starting to get there, it's a U.S. Um, jeez. Uh, a Roman? <laughs> yeah, it's a good Roman. Yeah, it's a good Roman. No, it's probably a U.S., probably about 1830s. All right, well, why don't we clean this up and then we'll, uh, we'll, well, we'll film on. it again. There we go. A... See, is that an Upper Canada token? No, it's a, I think it's a Queen Vic. Probably about 1860s. Just guessing, you're starting to see the... There's a circle in a, in a circle, isn't there? Yeah. 
All right, so, well, let's uh, yeah, cool. At least the gods, see what that is. at least the relic gods in Valhalla are uh, <laughs> cooperating. Here's the other one I pulled. I'll show you. Oh, there's a couple tokens from the last one. This one I haven't even cleaned it. This one's a large U.S. Sweet. And I'm guessing by the weight, probably about 1820s. Nice one. Awesome, yeah, mate. Good cool. job. Yeah, okay, guys. So I've got another signal. Uh, in the uh, mid 50s, just uh, uh, last one of those I had was a musket ball. So I, unfortunately, I didn't film that one, but I'm going to film this just to see what I get. Jim pulled up some uh, what we believe is camp lead in this area, so it could be some lead, or it could be another musket ball. Let's see. All right, it's out. Uh, oh, I see it. It's just a shotgun cap. There we go. Okay, there we go. So I've got another nice signal. Eighty-three, just there. So heavy. So we had some snow yesterday. So it's probably not quite the best condition. Yep, so everything is just so sticky. By the time you put the shovel in the ground. Mud and crap everywhere. There we go. So again, eight is and it's gone up to nine is. All right, she's out. And I don't think we're on camera anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I see it. Okay. I believe what I have is another one of these tokens Jim found. See? Hexagonal. There we go. Got my other glove. Yeah, it's a canning token. And I had never seen them before this field. I'll clean it up in a little while and I'll show you. But uh, it looks like it says from the one that Jim had the Sarnia Canning Company, Ontario. Awesome. Right, I've got another cracking signal. Uh, 86. I'm really liking this field. Yeah, stood up. Work out a way to uh, put my phone on and off without taking my gloves off because I waste time. Maybe I'll cut a, cut a finger out. Alright, yeah, there it is. So, 86 as I say. 
probably another one of those tokens because that's how they're ringing up for me. It's out. Yep, it's in the clump there. Not in that one. Not in that one. I see. Yeah, there we go. Guess what? It's another one of these hexagonal Ontario Canning Company tokens. Maybe late late 19th, early of 20th century, that's what we're thinking. Nonetheless, it's a relic, so I'm very So what I want to do, um, well I remember, I want to do some shout outs today to some people that have uh, been interacting with us lately through Facebook and uh, a couple of guys who's uh, got videos out there that are really awesome uh, first I want to say hello to James that's uh, Papa Bear on YouTube he's a fantastic Civil War hunter you've got to subscribe to his channel that's Papa Bear you find some really awesome stuff really nice stuff um, out there where he's working so check out his videos and I know he wants to come up or come over to Southwest Ontario and uh, do a little hunting with us. Just show that one what that is. Just a, maybe a piece of bone. Okay. I'll pick it up anyway. Um, yeah. So James, uh, Charlie from Stealth Diggers really cool guy again stealth diggers check out their videos if you haven't already he makes a really really good good uh video very high quality he gave me some good tips for for camera how to uh where to put the camera when digging etc i've tried that today using the otter box on the uh on the camera phone that i use so that's awesome keep up the good work charlie uh, who else is out there uh, Pond Guru helped us out. You've probably heard of his channels. He's over there in the northeast of England. He uh, he put one of our intros in his in uh, his videos for me, and that gave me a few more subscribers. So I really appreciate mate, that, mate. That helped us out a lot, and he's doing it for other detectorists. So, what a good guy. Uh, uh, Dave Relic Hunt in Scotland. I'm sure everybody's checked out his channel. Consistently good finds. Heck of a nice guy, uh, very well respected fella. Check his videos out. I want to say hello to Jakey. Jakey's uh, had to go to school today, he's very upset. I was going to detect him without him today. So poor little guy. That's all right, we'll be out of the weekend, mate. We'll find you some good stuff. And actually, I want to say hello to my mum and dad over in England. My dad's a really good detectress. So, uh, hello, pops, mum. Miss you. Hopefully you get over this summer. I love you both. Um, if anybody out there is watching this who uh, detects in the UK, in the Cambridgeshire area, in or around Cambridgeshire, let me know. And, uh, maybe I could hook you up with my dad. He's a great detectress. I'm sure he'd uh, love to meet up with you for a hunt. So, uh, yeah, if I've forgotten anybody, I apologise. Uh... But there, there's some awesome people that I've just been interacting with lately. And uh, I appreciate the time they take to help. Alright, back to the hunt. Okay guys. I have an 82 signal just there. So let's dig this one. Fingers crossed it's something nice. But uh, very little m modern junk. In this field so far, it's just right out the hole, right there. Gloves back on, keep on taking the gloves off to put the uh, camera on. Really nice day out today. Jim's had a couple of nice coins. I've been putting some tokens out. Bugger gone, there it is. Oh, there it is. 
All right, it's another one of these tokens. Uh, if you can see that, hopefully the camera will pick it up. Another little hex token. The Ontario Canning Company at Sarnia, Ontario. So it's interesting that they're on a field just outside Amherstburg, Ontario. A little way away. Interesting story behind that one though. I don't know what it is. I'm going to find out because we're pulling lots of these out. There we go. Yeah, that's the only signal. So there we go. Alright, so I've got a signal right here. So dig on camera. 67. Okay. See how boggy it is here. Actually. <laughs> right on the surface. Sweet. It's a little round ball. A musket ball. Surface find. I love that. Oh, that's great. And we're just about to call it a day as well. So it's probably my last dig of the day. Just waiting for Jim to come back to base camp and then we're heading off. Got three musket balls today. Okay, so we're all done. We're back at Jimbo's now. I uh, just want to do a little roundup to show you what we have. Um, Jim pulled a couple of nice coins. Did you manage to get a date off those coins, Jim? 1830 for the token. Yeah, that that there with a the hole in I it. That's I never got a date off this year. That's a so bank it's... of uh, Upper Canada Upper or King. Montreal? Uh, bank of Montreal, yeah, maybe. I think so. 1837. Got a few of these uh, tokens that we we're talking about. Clean the deck here, but let's get a close up of this one. Uh, the Queen deck, I'm guessing 1860s. So there we go. That's Ontario Canning Company. We're pulling loads of these out. See there, and there's uh, a round one as well. We'll come. So there's the coins. Uh, Jim got a couple of musket balls, and this we think it's a, a dog tag from the area. It's got SW on it. This area was called Sandwich West once upon a time. So once he cleans that up, he'll know. Little button there with four holes in it. Uh, my finds are this side. Got some of my junk and bits and pieces, unidentifiables. I got some cool ones over there too. And then I pulled a load of these tokens out. You right. see these hexagonal things lots of them some musket balls this this is cool i thought it was a possibly a strap plate yeah i don't we'll clean it up uh, a little buckle some more unidentifiables bits and pieces but this thing jim tell us about this ah oh, can the hell's that shining nicer yeah let me let me come down and film that that's the uh, gold coin I found in the fall at another site, and uh, yeah, she's eighteen oh eight, five dollar gold piece U.S. That's a beauty. First one I've ever found, so probably the only one I'll ever believe. Yeah, congratulations! That is a cracking find. Oh, hold on, we blurred. We blurred. Hold on. I say that. Yeah. <laughs> But no, it's uh, we've done really well today. This is our first spring hunt. Can't ask for better. No, we did really well. Plus, uh, a few lumps and bits and pieces of iron, uh, obviously coins, in, in coins the back. Coins are always nice. Yeah, some nice coins, nice tokens. Well, we take whatever the gods give us. Yeah, very happy with the musket balls. So Jim and I were speaking anyway. What? Because we've um, we've got quite a few subscribers now, and we've got uh, a few of these tokens. What we'd like to do, with Jim's cat. Yeah. What we'd like to do, oh, oh he's bored. <laughs> uh, what we're going to do is uh, going to do a little competition, uh, give away a couple of these tokens, the uh, cannery ones. Yeah. We'll clean them up. Yeah, we'll clean them up. We'll, we'll find, pick a couple of nice ones. We'll clean up really nice. That one. Uh, we've got a hexagonal one and a round one, so we'll maybe send one of each. Yeah. So what we want you to do is be subscribed to our channel. Um, it have to be public subscription so I can check and also make a comment in this video 
and then what, what we'll do we'll give it a couple of weeks uh, on a Sunday or something I'll uh, tally up all the names and we'll pick one at random and we'll send a couple of these tokens hey Jim yeah right on all right yeah. so yep I hope you enjoyed the video we had a lot of fun today it was a beautiful day nice to be back out and uh, say please subscribe please comment and then uh, that'll enter you into a draw for a couple of these couple tokens. tokens maybe some musket balls too yeah oh, there you go there eh? you go. all right all right guys thanks very much for watching take it easy